All right, round 80 now. And of course, the first zombie we hit turns again. I want to hit a... All right, and welcome back, guys. On today's video, we're starting a completely brand new series on my channel. The entire point of this series is to test out some lesser used weapons in zombies. After the season three reloaded update, pretty much every weapon got changed and there's a lot of really good hidden gems out there. I wanna go through, test out some of the weapons that people have them before and really see how useful they are in zombies right now. In this episode, we're gonna be going over the Swiss K31 sniper rifle. This was my favorite sniper rifle before the update and after the update, this sniper rifle got more buffs than any other sniper. So I really think this has the potential to be a very good weapon. If the Swiss is still able to one shot zombies once we get the zombies all the way to max health, this could actually be a really good weapon for high rounding. And that's what we're going to be finding out in this video. If you like the idea of the series and there's any weapons in the game that you're curious about and you want to see featured in the next episode, definitely leave it in the comments below. And that might be the weapon I feature next. Now we're loaded in game. I did take the sniper scope off and put the three times on instead. This gun looks looks amazing with the scope on it with the camo because the camo covers the entirety of the scope but look at how quick this thing fires this is such a fast firing sniper rifle and that's why I think it has such a good potential of being a really good weapon right now with the weapon being completely unupgraded nothing's been done with this weapon it is doing 900 damage per headshot so by the time we fully max this weapon out and you know we get dead shot and all that stuff I think we might be able to one shot zombies on the max health cap and if that's the case with how fast this weapon shoots it could be a really good high round weapon because look at how quickly you can just spam shots with this. So that's the goal. I really do like the attachments I have on it because I think it's really helping us with the fire rate and all that stuff. I'll have a full list of all the attachments are running at the very end of this video once we finish the testing. And with that, I got to go ahead, open pack, open the map, do all that stuff to be able to test out the weapon. While I'm doing that, if you want to sub, I'd greatly appreciate it. We just hit our goal of 75k subs and our next goal is going to be 100k subscribers. Also got to give a huge thanks to everyone who's going to leave a like, comment and watch this video in its entirety. All three of those things help me and my channel out massively. Fun fact, just in case you were wondering, on round 13 is when the Swiss becomes no longer a one hit when it is uh, completely unupgraded. So you can use the Swiss from spawning in with it and it will be a one shot headshot all the way up until you hit round 13. Then it's going to be a two hit. Obviously, however, if we go ahead and slap the pack a punch on it, it should now be a one shot again. I don't even know quite what ammo mod I want to run on this yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out as we go along. The hip fire on it's all right, and I think that's really what's going to need to save it. As you get to higher and higher rounds, you're not going to be able to ADS for headshots when the zombies, you know, on round 80, when the zombies are super sprinting, ADSing really isn't your biggest concern. So I'm hoping, ooh, hip fire wise, it should be able to hold up on its own. We don't have dead shot yet, which is going to make the hip firing a little bit better. Round 25, let's see what it does second pack to uh, elite. I mean, it's doing decent damage, but uh, in terms of... Okay, well, if I could actually hit it in its critical spot. In terms of a weapon that's going to do a ton of damage to an elite, maybe if we had it third packed around this time, it'd be a little bit better, but it's... I don't know. I think that's where this is going to struggle more than anything. I think this is going to be really good for zombies on high round. You can see that we're doing... Uh, how much are we doing right now? It's second pack. We're doing 16,000 damage per shot, and I've cornered myself. Uh, but we're doing 16... Oh, no, we're actually going to go down here doing 16,000 damage per shot, which ooh, for it being second packed, I don't know if we're going to hit the 120,000 we need. We've still got one more pack and a few more tiers, but uh, that's really going to make this weapon struggle on higher rounds. If it's even just a two hit, I think it's going to kind of lower the reasons I'll use this weapon is if it's a two hit on the higher rounds. On this round, though, it is uh, shooting into a horde on 25. Definitely effective. Then again, so is most of the ARs in the game. So we're now on round 30. I have it third tier pack a punch. We're going to try testing it on 30. I'm going to do it again on 40 and 50 and we'll see exactly how well it's performing. So uh, it's not fully maxed out tier wise, but pack a punch wise, we're not going to be adding any more damage. So we're doing 32,000 damage. And uh, yeah, unless upgrading the tier two more times drastically increases the damage, I have a feeling higher and higher rounds, this weapon's going to struggle because. Yeah, we've, all we have left to upgrade on this is two more tiers. We even already have Deadshot, and uh, 32,000 is the maximum damage we're doing, which zombies at max health have 120,000 damage. So, I mean, on round 30, once again, really good, but so is every AR in the game. Every AR, if you're hitting headshots, is going to be doing better than this on round 30, just because of its fire rate. I mean, it's really good when the zombies line up like this. Something just satisfying about, you know, sniping really quick with this sniper, just getting tons and tons of critical kills. Satisfying, but probably not the most efficient. 
With Deadshot, though, this thing is actually really, really good at hip firing. If you have the laser attachment that we have on and you hip fire, look, most of the kills I'm getting are critical hits. All you really got to do is aim towards the upper head and the laser is going to do the rest. It's pretty easy to use this on high rounds without ADSing just by using Deadshot, using the laser attachment, walking backwards and hip firing. Oh, there we go. We just got the uh, sharpshooter for the uh, Swiss. Nice. And now just like that, we are now on round 61 with the Swiss. I did a recording for round 40 and 50. Unfortunately, I had an issue with that. So we're doing the round 60 gameplay here. Round 40 and 50, the Swiss is still a one hit. However, we bring the Swiss up to round 61 and this is where it starts becoming a two hit. The zombies have more than, let's see how much damage we do per shot on a full health zombie. I think it's like 64,000 if we can hit a full health one. Hold on. Dang it, dang it. So there we go. The Swiss does 64,000 damage per shot, but as you saw, it didn't one hit that zombie. This is where the Swiss starts becoming a two hit and drops off quite a lot. Then again, a lot of the ARs and stuff start struggling on round 60 as well. And with how quick the zombies are, I find myself hit firing a lot on round 61. It's just ADSing, you're gonna get more headshots and it's gonna be more beneficial. It's just you're gonna spending that time ADSing, walking back is a lot more riskier the high round you go because the zombies just get absolutely faster and faster. Little disappointed with the Swiss so far. I was hoping it'd be a one shot kill indefinitely, but uh, on round, <laughs> zombies get way more health from this point. So if it's already taking two shots, it's a little bit sad, but uh, the Swiss probably is not gonna hold up too well but it's still completely usable. I really didn't have any issues going through the entirety of round 61 using the Swiss, especially if you put some elemental mods on it, have elemental pop, just running around training the zombies, you should pretty easily be able to pass the round. I'm a little afraid though of what's gonna happen as the zombies get more and more health. I'm gonna try to go all the way to round 70. Hopefully we don't crash till then and I wanna see what exactly the Swiss is gonna be able to do against these zombies on round 70. Holy crap, they are so fast on round 62. Uh, the elites are a lot harder to kill with it now. Like it just, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage just to bosses. You probably want to back up to kill bosses. If you're using this weapon, going for a high round using it. And now we're on round 69. I'm actually not going to test anything out on this round. I just, you know, I wanted to announce the fact that I was on round 69. All right, round 70. Let's see how much health of a zombie we do per shot. Well, that zombie, we did all of its health because we turned it. Yeah, let's try a different zombie now. Uh, so we're still doing about 75% of the zombies health on round 70 per shot with the Swiss. But yeah, spamming into the zombies, you'll eventually kill them, but it's going to take a bit. And if the zombies aren't at full health, you're not doing 60,000, you're doing 30,000, which at this point in time is going to take like three or four shots to kill. And it's definitely noticeable. While training around, I am almost heavily relying on ammo mods. Turns doing a lot of the work here. And uh, in, on top of that, Shatter Blast when it activates and stuff, any ammo mod with Elemental Pop is mainly what's carrying us through the kills. The Swiss could take us through the entire round. It's just fairly slow. You can see every other shot we're managing to get a kill in the Horde, but that's not a great ratio. And for round 70, eh, this would be a pretty long round 70 if we were to sit here and run the Swiss the entire time. But you know, since we're already on round 70, I might as well go ahead, try to get to round 80, see if we can get there before we crash and see exactly what this does on round 80. But uh, it's progressively getting worse and worse each and every round. All right, round 80 now. And of course the first zombie we hit turns again. I wanna hit a full health zombie and see how much health is left. So now we're getting closer and closer to the halfway point. We're doing a little bit more than half the damage per zombie per shot. And I feel like this is gonna be exactly like round 70. You're occasionally spamming in there, you're gonna get a kill every second to maybe third shot, and the ammo mods are gonna carry you. Brain Rot's definitely got more kills this round than what we have using this weapon. Uh, as we weaken them more, obviously, we'll have the opportunity to kill more and more per shot, but Brain Rot, if we were to go through this entire round only using this, Brain Rot would carry the majority of the kills for us. And that could be said about any normal weapon. You take any AR on this round, it's going to struggle quite a bit too. Uh, might be doing a little bit better than the Swiss is. But ultimately, I think I'm just a little bit um, disappointed with the Swiss. Like, I was hoping it'd do better than this. It's actually not that bad. Like, using ammo mods, which you could say that about any weapon, you could go through this entire round. I just had the idea of the Swiss potentially one-shotting indefinitely, but uh, I was way off with that. It only does 60,000 damage per shot. 
it would need to do 120,000 damage per shot to one shot. So yeah, I think with that, we are going to wrap up this video here, guys. I might go for around 100 this game. If I do, I'll include that clip at the end here. If not, that's going to be the end of it. So definitely comment below what weapon you want me to test out as we go to higher and higher rounds next. I'm personally myself really interested about the Damatis. I think the Damatis could make a really good weapon on higher rounds, so I'd like to take those maybe at around 80. There's no point in going to around 100 in most of these videos because the Swiss is going to perform the same. Right now, it's not getting that many kills. Oh, and we're going to go down. It needs ammo mods to carry us, and I mean stuff like that. It's, it's going to be the same on round 90, and it's going to be the same on round 100. But yeah, thanks for watching and making it all the way to this point of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And for the Swiss class setup I'm running in this video, I'm running the Roman standard variant. You get this for tier 100 in the season three battle pass. I think it's the premium one. You actually have to buy the battle pass to get that. For the attachments, I'm running the three times scope. It's a nice in between from, you know, the iron sights and the sniper scope. For the muzzle, I'm running the flash hider. For the barrel, which is probably the most important attachment out of all of them, I'm running the tiger team barrel. Not only do you get plus 20% damage, you get plus 33% fire rate. So you're going to be doing more damage per bullet and able to shoot more bullets per minute. For the body attachment, we've got the ember sighting point. Not only the increased salvage drop, that plus 40% hip fire accuracy for higher rounds. The under barrel, I've got the infiltrator grip. The magazine, I've just got the very last one on. The handle is the serpent wrap. And then for the stock, we're running the wire stock. And that is my entire setup for the K31 sniper rifle. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, cryptic, the absolute boss, Shadow King, the madman, Buckley himself, the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Yamasta, the man who needs no introduction, Hunter. And then we've got Chef, AKA Classified, AKA Chief. All of these people have taken a step above and beyond and became an Unlock++ member on YouTube. Thank you guys so much, true homies.